Hi everyone, welcome to another end game study. This position is white to move. As always, you should pause your video, try to find the answer on your own, and then when you're done, unpause it, and we will try to solve it together. Alright, I'm working on it now, guys. I'm working on it. Uh, most obvious first move, I guess, is rook to g2. Because king h4 leads to checkmate after bishop f6, king h3, rook g3. So, rook g2, king f4 is the only move. Now, if we play bishop h6, he can play either king e3, I'm sorry, king e5, or king f3. So, it's not so tempting. Hmm. I don't know then. I don't know what to do. Rook g2 just doesn't seem that strong to me. Um, f4 is interesting. He can take it. Ah, and then we just need to move, make the king move so we can go f4 ourselves and, and win the queen. So, okay. Uh, let me just demonstrate. If, if you're a take, um, all we gotta do is probably bishop e5. And wherever he moves his king, we move the f-pawn and win the queen. So there we do that. Here we do this. Here we do this. So it's probably just f4. And that probably just does it. Yep. Okay, and... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So, after this move, he goes king to f3. Uh, and now we have checkmate both ways. Rook h3. Wait a second. It's not that obvious, actually, because rook h3 is king e2. I mean... Wow, that's crazy. Alright, check this out. So we go rook h3. He goes king e2. And then we're going to go rook e3. He's going to go king g1. And I think we have this move. Whoops. Um... And there's no way to stop rook e1. And any queen move loses the queen anyway to this. So I think just bishop c3 does it. Yeah, bishop c3 and he's just going to lose his... That's crazy, man. He's just going to lose his queen. So that's the answer. Yay, solved it. Um, so basically the answer is f4, take bishop e5. And he's going to lose his queen, or he's going to get caught in this really weird checkmating net. Cool stuff! Alright, everyone. Well, thanks for watching this endgame study. I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Bye-bye.